this is Stefano from uh, Lab School Singapore. My motto is less chat and more action. So let's jump in the tutorial. This is what we are gonna do now. We're gonna make a text that spins around and change as uh, spinning. Uh, let's take a look one more time. And there it is. So how does it work? Oh, let's take a look. First thing, we gotta create a new composition. In this case, we don't need a uh, specific uh, size. We can do any size and I'm gonna do a 640 by uh, 480 and I'm gonna make it eight seconds, let's say. You see on the left hand side here of the composition panel, I have uh, four monitors. Three are for the 3D view and another one is for the front view. Then I'm gonna go for new, right click in the composition area, new text and uh, I'm gonna type uh, lab school right here. I already selected our font, which is uh, Bertel Accidents. I'm gonna select the LAB and I'm gonna choose medium, uh, actually bold extended. Then I'm gonna make it red and I'm gonna press OK. Then I choose the selection tool to quit the uh, text edit. Place this one on the left hand side as the text is gonna spin. And I'm gonna increase the size of the text a little bit. There you go. Then I'm gonna change metrics into optical. These are very important things, not everybody pay attention about these little difference in text, but it can speed up the way how you read a text. What is this about? Let's say, for example, you check out the distance between the letter O and the letter H, or the letter C and the letter H, and then it's S and C, and you see that all of them are different. That's because it's based on the box that contains the letter, not on the shape of the letter itself. Then uh, I'm gonna check uh, this value for uh, tracking. This one I'm gonna set it to zero, so we give a little bit of breath in between uh, the letter L, A and B. And then we are ready to work on the 3D layer. So let's transform lab school layer into a 3D layer just by clicking the uh, cube icon. There you go. So the layer is already 3D. Now it's about time to start spinning this layer. What we want to do is to um, uh, first focus on the fact that now we have three uh, separate rotation properties. One is for X, one is for Y, one is for Z. We are going to change the rotation for Y, which is the vertical axis, the green arrow in the composition panel. And we are going to set a keyframe at the beginning and a keyframe at the end. And the keyframe at the end will have four full rotation. You can type 4x, it's faster. So we have one keyframe at the beginning and one at the end. There you go. Let's take a look to what uh, are the properties for the keyframe. And we're going to choose Easy Ease. Yeah, so right click on the keyframe and choose Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease. Now, when we play the video, you will see that the rotation will not be linear anymore, but will start slow and then accelerate and then slow down and stop. There you go. So now, in order to make it look a bit nicer, we're gonna turn on the motion blur for the composition, as well as we are gonna turn on the, the motion blur for the layer itself. So now, as spinning the layer, will blur a little bit, yeah, it will look much nicer now. Right, now I'm gonna collapse and then expand again the properties of the text layer and looking for text source. I'm gonna click to insert a new keyframe. So now I move to two seconds or oh, about that. Well, I can see my text, double click my text type anything else. In this case, I'm gonna type, uh, we teach what we do, which is our motto. As soon as I click outside, it's gonna create a keyframe. Hmm, no need to click the stopwatch anymore. Just click outside and the keyframe have been created. Here's the yellow square box. Yeah, yellow square box means that the text is gonna jump. It's not gonna do a transition in between one text and the other. 
This one will create exactly what we have seen in the first video at the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Follow us on lab.edu.sg or on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash voxlabsova, Voxlab School of Visual Arts. This was Stefano Virgili. Thanks for watching this tutorial.